The $369 billion in climate provisions of the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, has packed investments in renewable power generation and in manufacturing everything from electric vehicle batteries to solar panels. But the law also includes uh, generous incentives for a set of low-carbon technologies and fuels, where oil and gas executives argue they hold a big advantage. Oil companies are starting to plow cash into projects to, ca- to capture and uh, lock away carbon dioxide, with two refineries for making biofuels and reduce low-emission um, hydrogen, rather, rather pr- produce uh, low-emission hydrogen, all supported by the IRA's uh, green subsidies. Okay, so energy trade associations, including the American Petroleum Institute, opposed the Inflation Reduction Act before Biden signed it into law in August of last year, 2022, calling it its uh, tax tax increases and new government spending the wrong policies at the wrong time. Now, oil companies are moving in the in, in, moving into position to take advantage. They include uh, shale producer Continental Resources, Gulf Oil, Gulf of Mex- Mexico focused oil company Talos Energy, and Philip 66, an oil refiner. Exxon in December of last year, 2022, increased uh, planned low carbon spending 15%, increased planned low carbon spending 15%, and outlined our plans to invest $17 billion on its uh, low carbon business to the end of. Uh, to the end of 2027, about 10% of all overall spending. Analysts expect activity to accelerate, but as a growth opportunity and a way for companies to soothe investor concerns about the industry's future amid a push to decarbonize the economy. Large oil companies with uh, sizable tax and li- liabilities could also underpin green energy development by buying other groups uh, clean energy tax credits which are now transferable under the inflation reduction act credit Suisse has estimated that the transformative uh, tax credits in the inflation reduction act or ira uh, that make uh, many new uh, carbon capture and storage and low emission hydrogen projects suddenly profitable could spore about 160 billion dollars in spending over the next decade the law set a tax credit of $85 per ton for carbon dioxide captured and permanently stored on the ground, which executives and analysts uh, say opens up opportunities to trap emissions from industrial sites. Even as they oppose the legislation, oil companies and trade groups uh, lobby centrist West Virginia Democrat Senator Joe Manchin, one of the architects to include tax credits for carbon capture, hydrogen and biofuels alongside wind, solar and battery power incentives. American Petroleum Institute supported tax credits for carbon capture. Not everyone is persuaded. Climate activists have criticized the Biden administration for subsidizing technologies such as capture carbon capture. They argue are costly, unproven and are promoted by oil groups as a scheme to keep pumping uh, fossil fuels. Yet U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm has uh, called on fossil fuel producers to seize on the government's support to re-need to reimagine themselves as more diverse energy and carbon, carb- um, carbon management companies. Granholm uh, has uh, cheered on Occid- Occidental Petroleum uh, plants to deploy d- direct air capture technology which sucks uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to be stuffed underground in the oil fields of uh, West Texas. The company plans to have its uh, first such project up and running in 2024 and says it will spend up to $600 million on, its, on, on, on it uh, this year, 2023. Direct Air Capture, a promising but unproven carbon management te- te- technology, is eligible for tax credit of up to $180 billion dollars a ton under the Inflation Reduction Act. So last month, BP said it would spend $1.3 billion to acquire travel centers of America, a chain of U.S. highway fuel stations to bolster its EV charging business. Both businesses would benefit from the IRA's green incentives. Mike Worth, chief executive of Chevron, has taken a more cautious line. 
He said the tax incentives were only one part of what it takes to build these businesses, and his oil and gas major was still proceeding on the path that they were before the Inflation Reduction Act was passed. Weather said that the industry still needed to improve nascent technologies, build infrastructure, agree, agree deals for novel projects, and receive government uh, permits, meaning it would uh, take years to stand up, uh, stand up the new businesses. Still, some uh, small oil producers uh, uh, see big opportunities for growth. Denbury Resources has uh, long had an, an enhanced oil recovery business that uses uh, carbon dioxide pipelines to pump the gas into aging oil fields and boost the output. But after the passage of the IRA, uh, owning, owning one of the uh, largest U.S. networks of uh, carbon dioxide pipelines and ex an expertise managing the greenhouse gas suddenly put the company in a completely unique space, according to uh, the company's uh, chief executive, uh, Chris uh, Kendall. Denbury envisions it in itself uh, transforming it into a large participant in uh, carbon capture and storage to capitalize on uh, new IRA uh, tax credits. It is uh, more than doubling uh, spending this year on early stage uh, carbon capture sequestration projects to $150 million. Kendall said the company was just uh, scratching the surface of where they were going, they were going with this. And he believes uh, Denbury will be pumping 550 million to 70 million tons of carbon dioxide a year into underground storage by 2013, more than the roughly 40 million tons that are captured and stored globally each year. There's a lot of industry emissions that can now be captured economically under the $85 per ton tax credit. And uh, their strategy is to build uh, that business as uh, rapidly as uh, they can. So big oil companies are man man maneuvering to tap billions in a greenhouse uh, in green subsidies under the U.S. climate law. So see what you make of all of these, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.